Hi, and welcome to another episode of More to Advertising here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Jeff Swartz. I'm excited about my next guest. Uh, he is an expert in the Web3, the metaverse, gaming kind of space, really kind of, well, I just categorize it as the future. Scott McClellan is the founder of Course Air Studio, which specializes in this space and has some really neat things going on and is here to talk a little bit about what we can expect as advertisers in the future in these spaces. Thanks for being on the show, Scott. Of course, thanks for having me. So let's start with the baseline. What does your company do? We build custom metaverse gaming experiences. Uh, we work on multiple platforms. We've worked a lot on a platform called Core Games. And uh, we also work in Fortnite Creative, Roblox, Sandbox, and a few others. So with the metaverse, can you kind of go over a little bit about like metaverse, web three, the gaming kind of experience? How is it shifting? How how close are we to the future? Because I heard a year ago, Zuckerberg was saying five years metaverse is going to be, be a thing. Tell us a little bit about what people right. should expect and what exactly this stuff is. So there's a lot of confusion around the rebranding of Facebook calling itself meta, which is not, not an accident. <laughs> um, so they have their own version of the metaverse, which involves like the Oculus and VR. The metaverse that most brands are working with right now are not is not VR related. You're looking at platforms like the ones I mentioned, like Roblox is a big example. So is Fortnite Creative. There's been a lot of brand activations in those platforms. Uh, recently, there's the uh, Balenciaga, Doritos, iHeartRadio, Samsung and the Tonight Show, uh, Target just released one. So you're seeing some big brands get in there. On the Roblox side, you have like a Walmart land that just launched and there's the Gucci experience. So yeah, there's a lot of movement there. And I mean, it's a place where brands are looking to get eyeballs on Gen Z and the generation that follows that are not going to the traditional mediums. They're not looking at TV. They're on their phones, they're watching TikTok, they're watching YouTube and they're playing games. So this is the new yeah. frontier of that. And I think there's been a conception with newer technology that gets adopted by younger individuals of, oh, that's not going after the people that have money or whatever it is. The reality of it is, is that A, they'll get older and then B, it gets adopted. Facebook, we, 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 they yeah. talked about that with Facebook and then it was adopted by everybody. TikTok, they were saying that you know now and now older audiences have been adopting it and seeing it and, and it's really shaped how video content has been uh, done in like YouTube and uh, other social media platforms as well too. So I kind of put this in the same category. Absolutely. And one of the things that I think is interesting is you mentioned like Doritos, these big brands that are already dipping their toe in the water because mm -hmm. they can afford to and it makes sense. But what about these small and medium sized or even local or regional brands? How do you foresee them using the metaverse and Web3 and all these kind of components? It's going to be a little bit trickier for them just because those experiences that I mentioned on those on those platforms are pretty expensive to build. Um, there are opportunities with rebranding existing experiences. So um, I worked on a map on Fortnite and on Core called Axial Tilt, and there's opportunities there for rebranding. So we sponsored the Game Awards. The the land was actually created by Jeff Keighley, who uh, runs the game awards and so the first experience there had a activation of the game awards where we had a live event with an interactive uh guessing game where people were trying to figure out who's going to win various categories as the game or as the award show unfolded awesome this is fascinating stuff and and it's it's really neat that you're building these i mean really these new universes in in, in a lot of sense and integrating it to what people want and how they want to experience. And I think that you're right, these younger audiences, this is what they're going to grow up on. It's going to be their norm, which is really oh, kind yeah. of fascinating, really cool. And we're just scratching the surface, I think. Um, Scott, thanks oh, yeah. for being on the program. We're already out of time. Oh, great. <laughs> great talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, good talking to you too. And thank you for sharing a little bit of information about what you do as well. 
if you want to get to know Scott, and I appreciate you watching this episode or um, get to know uh, Course Air Studio as well, too, and what they have going on, we're going to have all their information at dailyappbrief.com for you. But this is some really interesting stuff that I think that everybody that's in the marketing ad space needs to start kind of educating at least at a baseline level of what's coming down the pipeline. And this is definitely a space that's entertaining and uh, in my mind to uh, to be maybe the next wave of, wave of the future. So thanks for watching this episode and thanks Scott again for being on the show. Simplify presents addressable CTV. Combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.